I'm not going to lie. I'm completely speechless. Welcome to Cinema for Nerds, everybody. My name's Cody Lamoureux, but back to the main point. I just got back from watching Deepwater Horizon, and you know, I've got no special equipment, I got no special lighting, I just wanted to talk about this, because this impacted me in a way that I can't really fully put into words, but I'll certainly try. So this film was the story of America's worst oil disaster in history. It's the story of the Deepwater Horizon, which was an oil rig that was working down off the coast of Mexico and Texas and just below the United States. The movie was directed by Peter Berg. If you don't know who he is, he's the man who brought us Battleship, which no one is going to fault him for that because we all know that's way behind him and it doesn't exist. No, it doesn't exist. And he's also the man who brought us Lone Survivor. I personally haven't seen Lone Survivor. I've heard it's a great story. I'll see if I can see it in the future, but no promises. But this movie stars John Malkovich, Mark Wahlberg, and Kurt Russell. And I gotta say right off the bat that Kurt Russell and Mark Wahlberg and John Malkovich, every actor in this film was top-notch. They all did a great job. Even some of the minor characters, just the people working on the oil rig itself, were phenomenal. The chemistry between everybody was so fantastic. And the reason why this movie works so well is that Peter Berg directed it in such a way as to pay respect to the people who not only worked on that oil rig, but to the people who still work there today. And it started out with us getting connected to Mark Wahlberg and his family right at the very beginning of the film. And because of that very, very well-developed first act to second act to third act, we care about these characters. We care about who they are. And we care. So when all this stuff just starts exploding and erupting and really destroying itself, it's horrendous. I mean, at a certain point, about halfway through this movie, I was thinking to myself, man, this is a really good film. And then I remembered, this is something that actually happened on this earth. And it was that much more devastating. So, I mean, I gotta give it up to Peter Berg for that. You know, you could find a million flaws with this film, but I don't. I mean, the only flaw that I personally have with this film is probably that the build-up was a little slow, but that's not really a con, because at the end of the day, that build-up is what got us to care about all these characters, and they were wonderful. This is definitely one of my favorite films of the year, and I can't actually fully express to you what this film meant to me, because the fact that something like that happened on this earth, it hurts, but it's also important. These are the kinds of films which affect all of us as a society. And this is a film, in my opinion, that everybody should be seeing right now. And one other note is that John Malkovich in the film, the person that he was portraying, he has a lot of apologies to do. A lot of apologies. I can't actually say... This this film was powerful. <laughs> and it's definitely one of my favorites of the year. Let's see. And I'll go on a scale of ratings are subjective, but I can't really rate this film. I'm just going to say go see it. Go see it. Go watch it. <sighs> so, uh, if you if you like what I had to say, then leave a comment below and tell me what you think I should review next. Who knows? Maybe I'll maybe I'll get caught up in this and and I'd like to know what maybe you guys like me to talk about. I just wanted to get my opinion out there. Um but yeah, leave a comment below, tell me what you thought of this video. And of course, if you uh if you want to become part of the nerd army who love who love cinema and movies click right down there or up there i don't know where the where it is but please subscribe you all have a great day